Good morning and welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen with the Crafty Stampin'. Thank you for joining me today. It is Wednesday, which is a little off my um, normal um, time frame, so I thank you for that. I will, um, let me show you what we're gonna do today. We're doing something a little different. Um, we are going to make a cute little Santa pillow box gift. Now, one of my um, friends at on stage received something very similar um, to this as a swap and I didn't get the name so I can't give out the name of who designed this little thing but I tweaked it myself um, a little bit but this is what we're making today sometimes I find in December and you kind of got the cards all done but now you need like those little like hostess gifts or something if someone's invited you somewhere you need to bring little things so here's a little idea of a gift um, to pack up for someone. Um, so we are playing catch up on giveaways because it is my schedule has been crazy and then Facebook wasn't behaving. So we have a few watch later giveaways to do, but let's look to see what is, uh oh, do I even have, did I forget? Hold on. Hold on. Give me two seconds. I, I knew I was going to screw something up and it was just a matter of figuring out what it was going to be. Um, here we go. Hold on. If I do this, there we go. Will that work? Kind of works, but I'm missing something. Oh, well, here, we're going to do this even though you're going to lose my face. Um, I obviously don't have something set up right, but our giveaways for today are um, the hearts and stars elements, and that is if you uh, the live giveaway, we're going to do that at the end of today's broadcast. Um, so all you need to do is leave a comment and you can only, you just say hi. You don't have to uh, write a thesis. Um, and then if you are not watching this live or you don't happen to win the hearts and stars elements, um, you can win the warm hearted, which is a stamp set that is a hostess set from the holiday catalog. So it's kind of rare. Um, it's hard to get into. You gotta be either in my stamp club or uh, you gotta place a, a nice big order. Um, so we were doing that um, uh, as a giveaway today. So that is also if you just need to leave a comment and I thank you for that. If you share this video and you can share it on any social media platform, um, if you're watching it later on YouTube, I think they now have sharing like within YouTube now too. So. Um, you know, just share it uh, and I will put you in for a second entry to win that. So I know you all must miss my, my, my shining face. So here I'm back. So we have two uh, stamp sets that are prior uh, watch later giveaways. Um, one of them being the warm hearted. I figure I got a bunch of these. I should give them away before Christmas is over. Um, and, um, we're going to do those right now. So this is way back from 1030 between on stage and everything. It is, uh, um, we've been a little off. My iPad for whatever reason is just not pulling up Facebook. Gotta love Facebook. All right. So here is, um, I got to find the right one. All right. Here is the warm hearted, um, random.org and these are all the names of people who left a comment either on the Facebook post or the YouTube post and you can see there's quite a few names that are in here twice those are people who uh, shared the video and then typed the word shared with a D into the original broadcast if you are watching this from of course my phone's gonna ring now um, if you are watching this from a uh, shared video you will need to click through and go to the crafty stampin page um, on Facebook to leave your comment um, and, uh, that is the only place I can collect your names. So just an FYI. So let me quickly come back up through here. I'm ignoring my phone ringing and we're going to hit randomize. And the winner of the warm hearted is, come on. My internet's really slow lately. I don't know what is going on. Here we go. Boom. It is Miss Kristen Geens, Gerns and Geens. Um, and so congratulations, Kristen. Uh, let's do the second one and then I'll show both Kristen and our second winner. Um, oh, let me find the second one. Here we go. Um, our second winner, um, 
how to how to redeem. So this is for the seasoned with kindness, and this is from way back on 1019. And again, I'm just going to kind of quickly flip through the names. The same thing. They left comments, and then if they shared it and left the comment shared, you will see two names in here. And again, when I hit randomize, the name that pops at the very top will be the winner. And here we go. Randomize. And that is Joyce Pugula. Pugula. So if both Joyce and... Um, Kristen, head over to craftystampin.com if you go to specials and giveaway. Um, we seem to have a lot of freezing going on. I'm sorry if you guys are hitting that. Um, click claim your prize and you will be, uh, I will fill that out or fill that specials out and I will and mail those off giveaway. to you. There we go. We will pause that um, video. So let's just get to creating because that's the fun part that we're here. Oh, you know what? First, hold on. I do have. Uh, all right. So if you missed my blog post or email today, um, today started the year end closeout special. So there are items that are retiring from the holiday catalog, as well as a few annual catalog items are on special um, or have just been announced as they are going to retire and thus are now on a limited time um, uh for a limited time only. So you want to get a hold of those. If you head over to craftystampin.com, you'll see the link for that. And uh, use the December hostess code and I will give you in for my tutorial giveaways. Also, so there's that. The awesome craft and carry Stamparatus bag became available for customers to set to purchase today. So that is big news. And if, whoop, what did I hit? Um, if you are interested, the Craft and Carry Tote is still available if you are a demonstrator right now. So if you join my team, the Crafty Stampin' Crew, you can add this into your starter kit. You can actually add in the Stamparatus bag and you can put in all the uh, discounted items from the year-end clearance and make the most out of your uh, starter kit. Okay, let's, let's craft. I will tell you, I'm having an interesting week. Oh, and that's a little, little turn. I don't want to break this or sideways. Okay, hold on. I got to adjust one more thing. So, I my son. I think I've talked about my son. He has allergies. Well, he hit. He got. I guess he ate some almonds uh, at a dance on Wednesday, which put him into an anaphylactic uh, reaction, and he, so he ended up having to go to the hospital on. Friday night. So he is fine. We are all fine. But it has sent me into having to t contact a bazillion doctors and uh, I have to head up to the nurse this afternoon to deliver EpiPens and whatever. So it has made my to-do list significantly longer this week. So I'm a little spacey. Let's just put it that way. In addition to, I think, my normal spacey. Um, because if you know me, I'm, I'm normally spacey. All right, I'm trying to get this to come back up so I can see your comments, and it's not really working. So I'm just going to ignore it and move on. Um, so I'm going to start with, these are the Craft Pillow Box. Um, and I'm going to throw you in and out of focus for a minute. Uh, craft Pillow Box. Uh, craft Pillow Boxes that are in the annual catalog, and they're really fun to make a quick little gift bag without um, uh, with, without having to create a whole bag. Yes, it was his first anaphylactic reaction. We He has been severely uh, seasonal allergies, and he's been on an allergy treatment for that, but this was his first time to a food and having an anaphylactic reaction. So he was in the ambulance the whole nine yards. It was, it was scary, just to put it that way. So he, he will be fine. We will all be fine. We're just, you know, now we react. So I'm going to start with this and I'm going to start with my pretty label punch. I'm also, I'm messing with my camera adjustments while we are, while we're chatting too. So I can pull you in. There we go. All right. So I'm going to take this pretty label punch and I'm going to make kind of like a little handle. You can see here's my, oops, here's my little guy. So I'm going to make like a little handle for this little pouch. So to do that, I am just going to slide, there we go, 
set this side to side. I'm going to slide it in. I'm going to slide it in all the way in. This one, you can see, I did it. This is how much space you have left at the top if you slide it all the way in. I'm going to back it off just a smidge. Um, so you can see here, this is the little uh, handle you can use to pull the lip up. So I'm going to kind of try and do somewhere about in the middle. I'm going to center it left to right, and then I'm just going to punch. And you are going through two layers of craft, uh, so it is a bit extra thick. But now I have these two little extra um, pieces that I can use on another project. So I'm going to save those for later. Here's my little handle. All right, so I'm going to set that aside for a minute. All right, so let's do stamping. Like I said, my head's every which way. So I'm probably doing this out of what I would usually do as a logical order of things. So I apologize. Are we going in and out of focus? Thought I turned focus autofocus off. Where are we? Nope. Yeah, it is off. Okay. Sorry. All right. So I have here. Wow, I just can't get that to work. Um, so here is just Whisper White. And this is from so, uh, so Santa. And this is retiring. So this was on the list this morning. So if you want this, you got to grab it up quick because we got some really cute images. Today we're playing with the little guy, Santa, on the beach because we all want to be on the beach. Um, and I'm going to stamp him with Memento because I'm going to color him with uh, Stampin' Blends. So let's ink him up. All right. Ah! I get ink on my finger. So we're going to flip that over. And I'm going to cut him out with, um, there we go, with um, a uh, shaped circle die. I can speak. Um, actually, I need that to, uh, more. Um, so I am uh, going to leave space around to cut him out. I am also going to stamp for my greeting. This is the Ho 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 Who Needs Snow. And these are the little, where are we going? The little uh, starfish. So this is the Ho 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 Who Needs Snow. And then this little group of starfish here. So I'm going to put this over here. And I'm going to do the greeting first. This is also going to get cut out with, um, with the oval. Uh, framelits. All right, and where did I put this? <laughs> I have to look, see what I did. All right, so I'm going to put this under the Who Needs Snow. Let me make sure I. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, and my phone's ringing again. And so I am going to. Ignore that and call and, um, color. So, Mr. Santa, or else we'll start with the easier one. We're going to color the little, um, let me pull you in. I'm going to color the, my little starfish. And I'm going to color them in crumb cake, light and dark crumb cake. And you look out of focus. No, you know. All right. So I'm going to color all of them in a full light crumb cake. And then I'm going to take a little dark crumb cake and I'm just going to add it to a few little edges. Um, Mostly just trying to do get a smidge of variation in color on them. So try and blend those in. I'm going to tell you right now I can't see your comment, so I apologize. I will go back through later and um, answer any questions because both my systems are not working and the computer is working, but I can't read the comments on that well. Um, so there's that. So now we're going to come back and we're going to color Santa. So I'm going to get the crumb cake again. I'm going to do that for the sand. So 
and I'm really just it's kind of also just to add a little base to his feet so I'm going to take the dark too and I'm just going to kind of make a shadow under the surfboard under his feet um, and then I'm just going to come back and kind of blend that in there we go so there is Santa and his feet um, so now let's see let's do his skin so I'm gonna do Santa's skin and that is ivory and make sure you can see him and we're just gonna color it in I gotta make sure I get those little fingers on either side I don't want to color the beard. Here we go. Turn it around. And then we gotta get his legs. I'm sure you can see me. All right. Now, let's see, which colors did I do? So let's do, I'm gonna do um, pineapple punch. Let's see, where did I do the pineapple punch? Yeah, I'm gonna do the pineapple punch on the little starfish that is over here in the sand. There's the light, and then we got the dark. And sticking with the yellows, I'm going to use daffodil on his pineapple. And this is daffodil light. All right. So now, what did I do? All right, so I'm going to take, this is Poppy Parade Dark. And I'm going to color the um, poinsettias on poinsettia sorry on his board shorts and there you go and i'm really coloring is sort of an exaggeration of what i just did there but um, now the light shaded spruce and the leaves of the poinsettia on his board shorts. That's it. Okay. Oh, and I'm going to color his umbrella with the green. All right. Now... I'm going to take the light poppy parade and we're going to just color the stripes of his uh, surfboard. I'm going to use the nib and All right, so there is, and so the only other thing I want to do is, where do I use this? I don't know where I use that. All right. As I'm going to take um, the smoky slate. Actually, let's do the other side. I'm taking light smoky slate, and I am going to just put a little on his, like, beard. Kind of go on this side of his beard and his hair. I just kind of want to give it a little shadow. And now I'm going to take the um, color lifter and use it to kind of blend that into the white, if that makes any sense. So, all right. So I think if I check my, check, check the original, I think I got them set. 
All right, and so the other thing I wanna do before I go over to the big shot is this is, oh, let me scroll you out so you can see a little better now. This is candy cane season, and this is the ho, 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 ho stamp. So I'm gonna take that, hold on, let me put all my blends back in so they're not all over the place. So just a reminder, I can't see your comments very well. So if I'm not responding to a specific question, I'm sorry. I can't really see them. I'll respond later. I figure I'll just go along and stamp, and we'll get back to that later. So I'm going to stamp this over here. Uh, yeah. Just right here. There we go. All right. So let's close this up. All right, let's die cut. So do I have this out all the way? I do. All right, so I've got my Big Shot platform, my thin die adapter, and I have one cutting plate. I'm gonna put Santa on here. I am taking, I believe, the second largest stitched shape circle and we're gonna frame dear old Santa hold on I'm gonna find my my sticky notes to put him on there we go all right and you know what I'm just gonna do these one at a time uh, today we're just gonna do them one at a time All right, so pop Santa out. All right, so there's our Santa. We'll set him aside. I'm going to come over here. Um, the ho, 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 I'm going to cut out with the um, scallop oval. This is the G. So I label my scallop and smooth. My smooths in the um, any of the shapes are largest to smallest is one to whatever. So one's the largest. And then my um, scallops start A, A being the largest, and go down. So this is the G. Um, so we're going to put that here. And then, so this is the, oh my goodness. I'm going to go with eight in the scallop in the smart, sorry, smooth ovals. Get a post it. That's a double post it. That one's going to be dark. Okay. We'll run these through. Okay. So, so there's our Ho ho who needs snow. Set that aside. And our little ho 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 hoes. We'll set that aside. So that is all the die cutting as I'm looking around. All right. So I put these away. Nope, I got one more die cutting. I lied. I knew there had to be more. All right, so put this back. I'm gonna take just a scrap piece of Poppy Parade. And I am going to put the C uh, scallop circle on here. We're going to run that through. All right. So there we go. So we'll set that aside with Santa. Now I think we're done with die cutting. I set that over here. So now I'm going to remove my thin die adapter and one plate. I am taking a, if I can figure out where I've hidden it. All right. So this is a two and a quarter by six and three quarters. I will have a blog post up later with a PDF. It will be a little while. I have to hit the nurse's office at my son's school after this. So it'll be after that. Um, and I'm going to run that through the big shot with the tufted folder, but because it's six and a quarter, you see it doesn't fully fit, so I'm going to just fold it. I've already scored it um, for it to fit around. This is going to be the belly band. 
So I am going to actually um, emboss it folded. So again, I only have the Big Shot platform This because this is the dynamic folders that are extra thick. I'm just going to put the top plate on and run it through. So you can see where it's tufted. It's the reverse tufted, but when you open it, which is fine, it'll work just fine that way. So let's set that aside. I think that's all the Big Shot work I need to do. I say that. We'll see. All right, so the one other thing I didn't grab, I have to grab uh, silver foil. All right, so I got some silver foil. Let me bring you back in a smidge. And I'm gonna use the two and three eighths scallop circle. Punch that out. And then one other, one more punch, I think, is all, we'll see, is back to Poppy and back to our pretty label. I'm going to punch out one of these. All right, and now I think we can start assembling. So I'll pull all my pieces over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. All right, so... Let me see what I'm doing. Yes. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take dear old Santa here and I'm going to attach him to the scallop circle with snail. All right. And all right. So there's Santa. I'll put him aside for a sec. All right. So all right. Now to work on my greeting. So I'm going to attach my ho-ho, who needs snow, with some dimensionals. Um, to my ho-ho-ho. There we go. All right. Put this right in the middle. All right. I'm going to take my silver scallop circle. And I am going to put that in the middle of the pretty label. There we go. Did I? Nope. And then this is going to be attached with snail here. So there's my, there's my label. Here's my Santa. Where'd my box go? All right. So here's the box. Pull you out a bit more. Uh, all right, so here's the box. Here's our belly band, and I like to attach belly band. This is this is my uh, tear tape. I have it all attached to a, a ring, and it hangs up. So I got a lot of tear tape, um, and I know where it all is because it's all on one big ring. All right, so to attach this, get my tear tape. And let me see. So I'm going to attach the tear tape along here. And I'm also going to attach some tear tape right along the middle so it holds on. Even if it's a belly band and we usually like belly bands to slide. I don't want it to slide on this one. So, oh, and I, my nails all broke so I don't have any nails to pull off the paper. All right, one, and then remove this paper. All right. Now I've got my finger stuck, hold on. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna place this in here. Noting, you can see where the bend is, where I'm gonna fold it up, this little bend. Um, so I am conscious of where that is here. Attach that down, fold that. So there is now my, my belly band. Oops. And sanity are here. So here he is right side up. I'm gonna flip him over like this. I'm gonna put dimensionals down the side so I don't have him, actually, and this is a perfect 
time to use some of my leftover. There we go. Um, so that way he kind of pops up. If I put dimensionals here and here, he would bend. So you can see here he's kind of open on the sides and he's just attached in the middle. Kind of gives it more of a little 3D pop up. I'm going to put it right over my seam. So there, there's Dear Santa. And I can then bend in. There we go. Bend in the box. So now I can like draw some candies or something in there. Uh, chapstick, you know, whatever my little gift is. I could take that out. I'll wonder where my chapstick is later. <laughs> ah. um, but now for we're going to attach our label and we're going to attach it with this gorgeous. This is Poppy Parade textured weave ribbon. Good news. This is on the carryover list. So this will be around, um, which is exciting. I'm also taking to attach this. I am using the 1 8 hole punch. Oops, here we go. And I put a hole right here. Flip this over. And I'm going to start in the middle, but then I'm going to actually add a little, make it a little bigger on the left, on the right. And get this image bigger. Yeah, so you can see I made it a, a little bit bigger so that this will fit through. So we're going to feed my ribbon through. Okay. Cut some ribbon off. And now what I want to do is I'm going to tie this up. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to tie. All right. Hold on. All right. So there, that's about the length I want it. So that's where I'm going to then tie another little knot. I'll have full um, PDF with all the products I used and the dimensions that I used um, up. Give me this afternoon. Um, all right, so see how, so that's tied so that so this will hang. Now with my excess, I'm going to tie a bow. So I get this cute little bow with my gift and my tag. And it looks just like this one over here, which is, I did make, this is two and a quarter, the uh, Poppy Parade, and this one was two and a half. And I thought the two and a half was just too big. So I did make it a little smaller for, for y'all. So that is our um, project for today. Let's go and do our live giveaway. If, if you guys are still there live, like I said, I can't see things happening on either side. There's the phone. I need to get that. Um, all right, live giveaway. Let's do this quick. Okay, here we go. I need to. Yeah, I gotta call that. And once it pulls in the names, tick tock, tick tock. We pull over. We are going for the hearts and stars. Oh, come on. Come on. It's looking for names. I may have to do this later, too, if Facebook isn't, if the Internet is not going to work with me. Oh, boy. All right. There we go. Start. Here we go. Now you guys should be seeing the names. There we go. And our winner is Stacy Brocky. So congratulations, Stacy. Um, head over to craftystampin.com. Go to uh, specials and giveaway. And um, I will get that, fill out my form, and I will get that mailed out to you. I thank everybody for sticking with me. It looks like some of the Facebook, again, is not working great. And I apologize. Try to catch this on the replay. Um, and I will see you guys next week. I won't be back till next week. I got too much going on. So thank you very much. Um, I... That's what I got. Thanks, guys. Bye.